This is my Thinking Map Screencastify, and we're going to focus on Brace Map today. A brace, the Brace Map is one of eight Thinking Maps. As you can see right there, it focuses on the part to whole or the whole to part relationship. When we draw a brace map, we need the big bracket and we need the area in front of the bracket, which is where you will write the whole thing. And then inside the bracket is where you will put some of the parts, the subparts to the whole. Let's look at it a different way. We have our hole and we have the bracket and then behind the bracket or inside the bracket are the parts that make up the whole. Let's look at some academic vocabulary that you'll find in your essential question, which will be a clue as to whether or not you need to use a brace map. So, for example, your essential question might ask for parts of, parts of a book, for instance. Your essential question may ask you to take apart something, like a number, break it down into its place value. The essential question may ask you to show the structure of something. Or, your essential question may ask for the physical components, for example, of that geometric figure. And lastly, your essential question may ask you for the anatomy of something, like the anatomy of a flower, the parts of a flower. So, when we're using a brace map, we are identifying the whole and the part relationships and how they work together. We're analyzing the component parts of physical objects. And we must, they must be used with concrete objects. Brace maps are for identifying the spatial relationships of parts to the whole or the structure analysis, how they relate to each other. But what does all of that mean? Well, let's look. Think of a brace map like a puzzle, a jigsaw puzzle. Okay? If you can take something apart and put the parts back together to create that one thing, you can use a brace map. So you can see here, they broke apart the apple into its parts. Let's look, let's look closely at that. The brackets basically symbolize the equal sign because all of the subparts can be added up to equal the whole of the thing. For example, the apple. It can be broken down into the peel, the flesh or the meat of the apple, the seeds and the stem. So think of the peel plus the flesh plus seeds plus the stem gets you back to the apple as a whole. Here's an example, a first grade example of a house. And you can see here that this student broke the house down into chimney, roof, walls, window, and door. They took a concrete physical object and they broke it down into its parts. All of those parts, when added together, the chimney and the roof and the walls and the window and the door, when we put those together, they make up the house. Here's an upper grade example with an essential question. What are the physical components of the surface of the world? So they started with the world. That's our whole. And then they broke it into continents and oceans. Then they broke continents down into each individual continent. 
and each individual ocean. And then they took it one step further. They broke North America down into the countries. Pretty awesome, right? So let's practice with a brace map. We're going to start with something simple. We're going to start with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I hope you're going, oh yeah, I've got this. So tell me one part that makes up the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hopefully you all said peanut butter. Something else? You probably said jelly. And I'm pretty sure you guys at this point have already said bread. But I can take this brace map one step further. I can break the bread down into its components as well. Flour, yeast, sugar, and water. Now, for time's sake, I mean, we could do that with peanut butter and we could do that with jelly, but we're not. My demonstration is just so that you can see you can take it, you can continue to take it one step further. So, let's tackle something a little bit harder than peanut butter and jelly. Are you ready? Let's work with mixed numbers. Here, your essential question is to identify the parts of a given mixed number. So, you can see that we've got two wholes and three fourths. So hopefully on your whiteboard or on your paper, you've drawn the parts of the mixed number. Hopefully you have two whole shapes and one shape with three out of the four segments colored. Excellent, well done. Let's try one more fraction. Let's decompose or take apart the mixed number down to a sum of its whole numbers and unit fractions. So again, we're taking it apart, we're breaking it down, okay? So, we know that the number three can be broken down into a sum of its whole numbers and that's gonna look like this, one plus one plus one. And we also know that three-fifths broken down into its unit fractions is going to be one-fifth plus one-fifth plus one-fifth. So we can say that one plus one plus one plus one-fifth plus another one-fifth plus one-fifth gets us back to our whole of three and three-fifths. Okay, thank you for watching. I want you to look, for your, look to your teacher for instructions on how you can incorporate the brace map into the subjects that you are currently studying.